felt great at practice. Yeah. Wednesday, he said he just didn't have it. Mm -hmm. And so coaches decided just to kind of pull back yeah. on him this week. Dominic Davis, one of the better kick returners in the Southeastern Conference. Along with Jerome Myers, back to the scene of the Alabama kick. It comes down to Myers. Back at 20. That's where he's dragged down. Shotgun formation. Comes a blitz. Booty goes down at the 15. Victor Ellis, the first one on the spot along. Everyone questioned if that was going to put pressure on Sal, but it really helped Tyler Watts. First pass complete to Millens at the 50-yard line. With us yesterday in terms of this team, they need to practice like they're going to play. Alexander across the 45. His helmet off, and he's not sitting on the sideline. That is a good sign. Watts pass complete. About the 47 yard line of Tim Bowens. By the shoe. They may have had to retape it. Good look at that shoe, that ankle. Watts had about a half a second before Muskegon Barnes, Luke, who's six of seven this year. His long is 45. Oh, he's got the leg. Oh! And he hooked it left. Lutner gave it a ride. It had the distance, but it was wide left. And from the 45 wide receivers in the game and a deep drop for Booty and shotgun formation. Across the middle of the triple covered ball oh, bounces up in the wow. air and Myers comes down with it. Wow, you talk about throwing into traffic. 49 catches, 662 yards this year for Myers at 18 to that total. Oh, what a catch! Wow! Abram Booty dives out of bounds. Boy, this is where Alabama really tightens up. They get down that four-down territory. This is hard yardage. They're tied into the game. LSU to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Booty to Myers. Great pattern. Great movement by... He only has two touchdowns. That's just pretty incredible. It's up and good by John. <laughs> Third down and three. Explosive this year, won a 65-yard punt return last week. They think that he has David Palmer-like capability. The outside goes Bohannon. Gets the good Southern Miss team for Sean Bohannon. It's second down and four from the 43. Watts is four or five today, rolls out. Going to be close to the three of four in third down conversions. They're looking at a third and seven. Across the middle, Terry Jones gets the first down before he's run back. LSU needs to put a stand in here. Four wide receivers, hit hitter on the outside. Carter inside the 10, bubbles the football, but it rolls out of bounds. Now, was it controlled before it went out of bounds? And you know what's amazing? I thought he almost had a first down. Fine type of player, great speed, true freshman. That's how has in Florida. yard line and every time we look at sean alex 20 plays wow stop at the oh. goal line are you kidding me the lsu the one yard line can lsu rise up they're going to sell out right now i'll tell you this they're going to have 10 guys on the line of scrimmage everybody's going to be digging and i can promise you that alabama's going to be digging right back with yet another rushing touchdown puts the tide on the board after a 22 play drive this season going after is up and good tough tough break for alabama but they'll have to overcome that lsu quickly strikes booty to booty on second 10. over the shell but now all of a sudden he's burst out he's back playing like what they thought he could Nice move by Josh to really get it away and finds his brother. Shotgun. Three wide receivers. Booty has all the time in the world. Now forced out of the pocket. Still has more time. Throws to the end zone looking for Abram. Through his hands and it falls incomplete. Jason Jones. 
He had the leg. He just needed the uh, correct angle. Up oh, the fake. It's a fake. Oh, Corbello wow. gets hammered. Oh. He stumbled at about the 34-yard line, and if he doesn't stumble... Hey, with he threw it into coverage and almost made a mistake. Watts sacked at the 22-yard line. Brady James, the first... The other starter at the beginning of the year, Kyle Kipps, is out as well right now. But Alabama, third and 18, going up top. Pass is caught, but was it inbound? They say no. Clicking a lot like Dave Neal and Dave Rowe in the press box. I'm telling you one thing, they're <laughs> clicking. They're, so they're hanging together. Good story, Greg. Oh, what Pass a catch. Is picked off by Gerald Dixon. What an interception. The intended receiver was Myers. But Dixon, who's been around the football all afternoon. They're hurt. Thomas Dunson is out with a bad neck. The block. Roman. They're out. Pass is caught across the middle. Tim Bowen with an Alabama first down and a game to four. See if they get it off in time. They do so on third and nine. Nobody home at the 15-yard line. Millens broke off the rack. Try to make, what, six, seven yards? That's a tough call. I think you've got to throw it. But, uh... Oh, he fumbled it. Fumbled the snap from center. Oh, that didn't get going anywhere. Well, it was conservative. <laughs> Nine seconds left. Watts, quick drop, goes up top, wide open is Millett, popped out of bounds with four seconds left at about the nine-yard line. We'll try it again from 31 this time. Flugner is good with no time remaining on the clock. Alabama. LSU's defense has given up some big plays this year, but today they have avoided that particular problem. Down. See, there's a good example. Three people in on the tackle. One. Here it is, third down. McClintock picks up the first down. Coming into this football game. Watts trying to set up a screen. They finally get it off. Bohannon stays on his feet inside the 25 to about the 21 or 22 yard line. Six minutes they have chewed up on this clock, nearly six minutes. They gotta come with pressure, and here they come. Oh, they got blocked. Over the middle. Touchdown, Jason McCadley from Tyler Watts. That was a long drive. It was a drive that Alabama was And he misses the oh. point after. Yeah, took down the pole. He spawned. Time of possession right now, about 25 minutes for Alabama, 11 for LSU. The reverse to Myers. He's across midfield. Cuts it back at the 45 and is tackled at the 4. Fantastically today. I mean, this week. It's, it's just, he's one of these guys that just gets at. The blitz. So he gets hit as he throws it. Picked off. Down the near side goes Milo Lewis. Out of bounds at the 25 yard line and Alabama back in business. Well, Victor Ellis got great pressure. Kenny. Third interception for oh, Milo and then Alabama gives it right back to the LSU Tigers. Now let me tell you how that will juice better. Right. <laughs> Third and they can come back in and run. I want to see that. There's a screen. Over the middle. It's Neely. Mealy gets the first down over the 35. What a great play call, and that was set up into his career. It's paid off 6'3", about 320 pounds. Mealy across the... <laughs> you don't you know what you think. I like it. I, I like that. <laughs> Third, you're a defensive lineman. Hey. Third and 13. Booty over the middle, right into the hands of Marcus Spencer. He's across the 40. To the outside, inside the 20. Run out of bounds at the six-yard line by quarterback Josh Booty. Spencer's first. Booty now with 16 interceptions this season. Watts, Carter, oh. touchdown Alabama. Do you understand?
he, you told him that you understood his pain. I understand as well. <laughs> Picked off again. This time, it goes to Reggie Miles. His third interception of the season. What's your thought this week? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Bohannon to the 20. Brought down by him and then boom, the fumble. The play. Well, Tennessee has to go to Fayetteville this year, and that'll be exciting. Both games start at 1230. Batted up in the air. Uh-oh, watch this. A lineman's dream. Johnny Mitchell will go 70-odd yard for a touchdown after a batted pass. And I think Mitchell's the one who batted it. <laughs> Look at Mike DeBose, he's got a little shock on him. Mitchell, 95, I think he bats the football here. Watch him right there. Yes, he's the one that bats it up. Looks at it now, he needs one block right there. He gets the block. Now the big man rumbles down there. 314 for number 95. One after is up and good, and it's 23. Picked off at the 44-yard line by Norman Lejeune. His second interception of the season. Which is going to be? Well, DeBose, the former D lineman for Alabama, hoping he's got a blitz, full blitz. Enough up front to slow down LSU. Myers has by Dixon. Certainly uh, Mississippi State victory next week. If they can pull that off and help their case somewhat. Oh, Picked up. off again. Ryan Clark to the 24, 23 yard line. Tyler Watt brings him. is hit as he lets it go by Kenny Smith. And the pass. You know what happened? Booty got hurt. Pulled out to buy himself some time. And a big field goal. A 33-yarder is up and good. You have missed it the first time. Penn State loses today. Yeah. Steps up over the middle. Bowens has the catch at the 21-yard line the football. Just keep on running. Don't go out of bounds. Rohanan turns the corner and picks up the first down, but is running in the eye on third and 11. And they give us Alexander met the line of scrimmage. He gets it inside the 10. Alabama will make 33, attempting a 27-yarder. in his face. It may have been listen to this crowd. They're stunned but they're cheering. Pass caught on the far side to the 45 goes Reggie Robinson. Jason Jones runs it. A minute 39 left. Oh, and you got a timeout left too. A lot of time left. But he rolls to the right. Oh, where's he throwing? Oh, wow. Oh. Josh Reed. Goal. There's the rollout. Booty 